My name's Scott Borlase. My role is as Head of Development and I work with an extremely passionate and talented development department uh, to deliver all our development programs here at the Brisbane Lions. My background, uh, I guess I started in Adelaide, uh, played all my football for the Nord Football Club in Sandford. I uh, also had one year at Port Adelaide on an AFL list uh, and only lasted the one year, uh, not through lack of trying. Uh, and I've also got a background in teaching. I was teaching for six years in, in Adelaide and coaching at Nord and uh, eventually got the role as the academy coach here at the Brisbane Lions. I was the academy coach for four years and obviously worked with quite a few of the players that are still on our list at the moment. Yeah, so this is my second year in the current role. I uh, started when Fags and Nobes uh, came to the club. Uh, teaching and learning and development is a passion of mine and I'm, I'm absolutely wrapped to be doing what I'm doing. One of the main components of my role is to establish uh, an individual development plan with each of the players and I do that with the help of line coaches and the other development coaches. Uh, so for every player they have uh, what we call a weapon or a strength uh, which we want uh, to still continue to foster and develop. They also have uh, one or two growth areas that are things that they want to improve upon and an action plan on, on how they're going to achieve those, uh, that improvement. And as coaches it's really important that we highlight and show those players evidence of growth when they do perform on game day. So what we need to do with you, and again this can evolve over time and it might change, but you've probably got thoughts on what why the Lions picked you up in the first place? Why did why did they track you from 15 to 18 and see what you're doing? Because you obviously had a weapon. What do you think your weapon might be? Um, so we do an individual development plan for all 46 players on the list. So it's uh, quite a big job to pull those together. Uh, our coaches and development coaches do a fantastic job in getting those uh, together with the players. What's an action plan that you can commit to each week that's going to help with, first of all, making sure your weapon stays your weapon, and secondly, so your growth area is improved. Um, the players also really buy into that. We've got a real culture at the moment of continual improvement, uh, so we make sure the players drive that, uh, but as I said, we make sure we acknowledge uh, evidence of growth when they do experience success or achieve success. Uh, Scotty Wallace is a fantastic coach. Uh, he sort of followed me around a bit uh, since I joined the academy at 14. Uh, he was the academy head coach. And uh, the year I got drafted, he got promoted to, uh, to a development coach at the club as well. So we've sort of followed each other. Uh, he's worked closely with a lot of the younger players like myself to improve our skills. And um, he's very good with the individual development plans of each player. Um, he's, got a, he's got a big board up in his office of every player and, and what they've highlighted as their areas to work on and their strengths. So yeah, he's, he's very organised and um, he's a good communicator as well, good people person, uh, very easy to talk to, very approachable to, to go to with issues. Yeah, we've got multiple examples of um, the players having an action plan and putting in the work and then seeing the benefits on game day. One example, uh, Jacob Allison last year, um, his ground ball, contested ground ball was a real growth area for him. Uh, he put the time in, in craft uh, and then when he eventually got the opportunity to play AFL, uh, make his debut over in Perth, uh, to see him execute the skill under pressure, I guess, is what makes me uh, most proud as a coach to see the, the benefits of the work he's put in, but also the work we've done together. He's quick. He's quick. Part of my role is coaching the Neeful mid midfield on game day as well. Uh, and post-game, uh, we review and analyse uh, the game from start to finish again. It normally takes three to four hours, uh, and we cut up individual edits for each of the players. Then on a Monday or a Tuesday we sit down and review with those players. Again, we highlight their weapon or their strengths, we look at their growth areas and again we discuss um, action plan of how they might work on that during the week. This is um, so it's an improvement in contests that we've talked about last yeah. few weeks. It's yeah. so going back with a fly, that's yeah. good. That's yeah. exactly what we're after. Bring it, to Bring it to ground, we win the footy. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. On a Monday, uh, Zane, Little John, Paul Henriksen, Mitch Hahn and myself will get together and have a development catch up. Uh, we'll talk about the game that's just happened on the weekend. We'll also talk about uh, whether there's any need to change the individual development plan of each of the players. Henry uh, drives our HATS program, which is our touch program. Zane drives our one to four year uh, education program. And Mitch is obviously the senior NEFL coach. So part of my role is uh, planning and coordinating our training. Uh, in particular, in pre-season, it's really important that we progress our drills that's uh, adequate for injury prevention and also to optimise player learning. And I also need, also need to make sure what we're teaching with regards to our theory 
uh, lines up with our training as well um, so the players can understand it and learn better. Boys just set up a mid arc stoppage for me. I just want to talk through something very quickly. Really important this guy is this side, keeping, it, keeping his opponent boundary side. Yeah, we try and individualise our program as much as we can. Uh, we even get our players to do a learning style survey so we have an understanding of how each individual on the list learns best. And whenever we do our group presentations, we try and vary what we teach to cater for each of the players or to cater for our group um, just to help them with their learning. Absolutely. So it's work off your opponent. You might get a metre, then you shorten your feet. But from here, I can give, I can quick kick, I'm not disorganised and I'll fumble it. The most exciting thing about my role is that we've got a playing group that is super willing to learn and they're passionate about getting better. Uh, and I think um, you know, they're not just developing as players, they're developing as young men as well. And that's something that I guess gives me pride in my role, knowing that we're potentially making a difference, not just on the field, but also off the field. Alright, that's it boys, good work.